Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? It's been a week. So that means we have a week's worth of new makeup releases to chat about. With me, of course, I have our staple, our much loved Tia from Tia's Makeup Time. You know the drill, I'm putting her Patreon down below. And we also have the incredibly beautiful Rebecca. Don't know why I'm saying it like that, but there you go. She also has a Patreon, join it. I just have some little general announcements to talk about first. So the first thing is, oh, we've all been waiting for it. Yes, that's right. Dragon Beauty has come to Beauty Bay. Nobody asked for this. Bring me my clarity. Bring me my JD Glow. Bring me Give Me Glow. I don't want to okay. talk about it any further. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Okay. And I also got tagged in this an awful lot during the week. And this is about Too Faced. Apparently are re-releasing some of their blushes. So if you've seen this before, yeah, it's because it's an older item from their collection, but they have reformulated it. But my Lord, guys, however do I love you? Because I got so many tags this week. Definitely this has been the biggest uh, so far. So, you know the drill, I have to thank each and every one of you. So, sharp intake of breath. A huge thank you to Brianna, Ali, Becky, Gillian, Amina, Amy, Chrissy, Franca, Jenny, Tia, Matty, Beth, Sue, Mary, Cheryl, Tess, Cecily, Sophie, Daniela, Lauren, Paula, Annie, Sarah L, Jade, Massa, Shanna, Laurie, Heidi, Kylie, Missy, Gina, Sonia, Manuela A, Nisha, Rebecca, Anne Marie, Tony, Heather, Kirsty, Samantha, Anna, Manuela T, Jordan, Flick, Tasha, Crystal, Susie, Steph, Brogan, Lucy, and Louise. Oh, hello. Thank you, guys. And as per usual, you guys have seen things that I wouldn't have seen. And like I said, you guys dictate what it is that we actually end up talking about. So if you don't like this episode, that's on you. It's not on us. As per usual, huge thank you to all of my Patreons, particularly this week. You know what it is that I'm talking about, and I love you. I would chomp everybody's ankles for you. You're wonderful. And, and speaking of love, huge, huge shout out to Sonia, who, by the way, lady, I have a bone to pick with you. You didn't say that you were going for surgery, and then you were like, oh, look, I'm out of surgery. And I was like, excuse me? Excuse <laughs> excuse me so huge huge uh, amount of hugs and love are sent out to you Sonia hoping that you're feeling better and you, yeah we do we love, love you a uh, huge huge happy birthday to Janine happy happy birthday so if you can't tell we obviously have our our theme this week and um it's subtle makeup and that does include lashes because screw it I'm not coming on to my channel without lashes on yeah, because I don't have any real ones. And I hate my Patreons because they've knocked it out of the park. Look at their pictures and judge them yeah. harshly. As usual. It's very upsetting and I'm, I'm so actually, talented. I think I should stop doing this segment. <laughs> Does it hurt my feelings? Um, but that's it. That's our, our little spiel into it. So we're going to head straight on into the new makeup releases. Revolution Pro have come out with six new lipstick shades and they're eight pounds each. They also have some more lip stuffs, a balm and a lip oil and a lip conditioner. I don't use I like really Revolution like. Pro. I, like, I generally like Revolution's lip stuff, mm -hmm. actually. To be honest, like I have enough lipstick and think now. I'd say that I don't usually like shine lipstick because they move around I like more matte and then if I want shiny I add a little bit of gloss wow. over top I just I feel like they move too much and they don't stay on your lips too long before COVID this would have been lovely you know I quite yeah. like chocolate lipstick I'm not like I, I do I like them I'll wear them to work because if I'm pulling a long shift I do want to have something that's quite hydrating and doesn't dry down my lips ah. because my job involves a lot of yapping like a small Yorkshire Terrier. It's not, it's not bad, but it's just not for me. Like, if I would need to, like, um, if I was making an order and I was like, I need to, like, get the 40-something that I can get free shipping, I might throw in, the, like, a lip mask or lip balm yeah. or something. But other than that, I wouldn't go out to buy those. 
Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. No. Yeah, that's fair. This time it's I Heart Revolution because of course they are very different. And this is their coconut palette. This is £10. And when I looked at this, I just saw two shades that looked like the Turkish Delight palette that they have, like the green and the pinky shade in it. And I'm like, you have this. So boring. At least the depth in it. I'm not interested in this one. One deep shade. For the record. One deep shade. But at least they've managed a couple, a couple of kind of deepening shades. But this boring, they do have it. I mean, there's one deep matte shade yeah. out of 18. I wish they would maybe hire some new people in the team and get like fresh ideas. This is already done. This is already seen. Don't they are this. duping themselves. It's yeah. That they're duping themselves. Like, you know, yeah. fair play. <laughs> fair play. Yeah. I, I mean, none of us are getting it. I don't like it. Last week, we kind of sneak peeked this and we didn't know what it was that was coming out. There was a lot of like conjecture, but now we know. And it is Fenty and it is their eye brightener. It's 16 shades and it's $25. They say it's instant brightening and blurring and sheer to buildable coverage. Yeah, I think it's smart for them for they just to release the tinted skin thing foundation what it even is but i think this goes very well to it and it looks like it does definitely have some like coverage like it's not just nothing on the eye but it's not for me you will see this from me on my channel i will review this i'm gonna get it on sunday once i'm back at work i don't need a lot of coverage under eye i don't have dark circles the main thing i like is like a little bit of brightness i have really dry yeah. under eyes so even when i've got like a full coverage face on i don't always use use a full coverage concealer because I just don't need it yeah um, unless I'm exhausted so this is right up my street I, my eye, under eyes are so dry I'm so over full coverage matte concealers so over them yeah I don't so, like matte yeah. concealers either so I am super interested in this the so only thing is like the shade range is a little like I think they could have added a little bit more there mm. but it depends like if it says that it's sheer to buildable but yeah. if it's buildable coverage you need more shades because then these shades doesn't count it you know for all the skin I guess I don't think of it as like exactly as a concealer I think it'll be do something similar to what like the Becca under eye thing did yeah. and what they do okay two yeah shades. Well, maybe then it's good. Now. Yeah. I, mean, and then, could, I could be wrong, but yeah. that's how I look at it. And then that means that it's very, very good timing for them to come out with this because obviously with Becca going under, their uh, eye brightener was yeah. a pretty loved product of theirs. So people are scrambling to find a replacement. Yeah. Morphe did a collaboration with Coca-Cola about a year ago. Why are they doing one again? The first one was a uh, friggin' atrocious. And this, like the first one didn't make sense in terms of the color story anyways. And this one makes even less sense. So there's an eyeshadow palette. There is the obligatory, you know, brush set because we can never get away from that and they have a lip gloss set and a mascara are you okay morphe so boring so is everything, is everything okay boring. down at morphe are we good let us know let us know you're good you good morphe because this ain't it morphe is in same category as revolution now nothing excites me from them anymore yeah, like, and that's, it's a shame don't want this i don't think this gonna do so well like who's gonna buy this well yeah some people like like neutrals yes and i get that but this is so boring yeah. even for neutrals and then there's a weird pastel green mixed in there and I love green, but I'm like, what would I do with that with the color story that's in there? This is a state makeup. I know nobody asked for it. And yet here we are. They have the baby girl palette, which by the way, I hate that as a name and the sugar daddy palette. They're both nine pan eyeshadow palettes and they are, believe it or not, $30 each. What's yeah. the actual F-U-C-K is going on? It's like nine of the shame shades in it. Yeah. Baby girl and sugar daddy. Ew. I don't have even words because 
because I'm just like, are they really like serious with this stuff? Is this not embarrassing? Yes, I love TikTok, okay? Come on, like, I don't get this. I, I don't understand, right? Me neither. Like, who wants this? This is not gonna suit, like, this is gonna suit the fairest of the fair people. No one wants this. Yeah. Next thing we have then is a Bite Beauty and they have their Daycation Whipped Cream Blush. And that is available already. They're $32 each and there are four different shades. They do look like they have a sort of a shimmery component to them. I mean, my lord, the amount of liquid cream blushes that are available these days. Whew. The market is flooded with them. Okay, the packaging irritates me because you're not it's cute. Yeah. I think it's cute. But oh, it's I not usable. It's not usable. You're not going to get all of the product out of that. Yeah. $32. I'm going to want to get all of the product out of that yeah and that is just like marketing trick it may when the lid is on it makes it look a really big but when you took the lid off you have like half of the actual container half the product and then you can't even get all of it out exactly like and they're really expensive 32 dollars each yeah but i love a cream blush these shades are meh to me they're um, pretty light also. yeah the price ain't right it, um, I would say like eight out of 10 for idea, two out of 10 for execution. So KBD are really focusing on rebranding. It seems that they've collaborated with Lizzo. Okay, I like Lizzo, so I'm kind of kind of here for it. But she is part of this new kind of wave of KBD stuff, which I think is very smart on KBD's part to try and separate themselves from the good ship Kat Von D as much as possible. Yeah. But uh, they are also following the whole liquid gel blush thing. They are in four different shades, twenty six dollars each. I'll try this if it comes to boots. So I'll little. Get expensive still for yeah. me i'll get i'll get one maybe again it's not great for my skin type but maybe i'll try i'm saying i'll get one maybe i'll try one i, I like that they're trying to distance themselves from kat von d is smart calculated smart i love it i i like this yeah so. yeah i like this i think it's very smart from them. yeah i think it's a step in the right direction for kvd like you couldn't get any further away from kat yeah. von d so i'm like yes well done. I'm here for it. And speaking of here for it, the next one. Now, I've been talking about this for quite some time. This is BH Cosmetics and it's part of their birthstone collection. And I had said many, many a time, if the May collection was bad, I was going to throw some sort of a fit. I don't have to throw a fit. You don't have to. Exactly. It's lovely. It's emerald. It's really pretty. Um, yeah. It reminds me a lot from Louis Cosmetics' new palette. Yeah. It has like the same theme, like for color story not as like the theme but the color story is to say this would be beautiful companion palette for the lowest palette so i actually have it this is the the emerald palette i will do a video on this at some point i promise i can't wait to see what you think of it yeah, like i'm looking forward to to playing with this so if you want to see what that looks like i should hopefully film with it and have it up this week there is a neutral component to it but it's my kind of neutral like this yeah. grunge and um I think yeah. they're doing way better with this series yeah. than the Zodiac previous Zodiac. That was a thing. <laughs> and also I love that like on these like the the big pan is emerald which is the birthstone and then each of the uh, six shades then are like attributes of somebody born during May yeah and I like that you know it says things like hard worker restless uh Stubborn, artsy, AF. And I'm like, that kind of describes me. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not artsy, but. Well, you are. You do yeah. like makeup and that sort of thing. So yeah. I that is artsy. artsy. Yeah. So look, I mean, I clearly like it. Keep an eye out for a review on my channel and the, the face swatches. Swatchy poos, the Swatcheroonies. Then, oh my gosh, Juvia's Place came out with a lot of stuff this week. So they came out with various like bronzing duos, two different eyeshadow palettes, some lip glosses, some blushes. It has been immense. I think this is really nice. The palettes themselves are $14 each. They only have two blush duos, but I really like the look of them. Obviously the lighter one would work for me. Yeah. Like it has an orange and that like, like pinky shift. And then in terms of the bronzers, they have quite a few bronzer duos. So they have five of those. 
and look at how they can actually hit the light all the way up to the yeah, dark really yeah. like this yeah. like the light bronzer duo i actually kind of want it now it looks yeah. really i quite nice. like the look of the medium because it's actually medium it's not too dark it's not too yeah. orange or too pale it's actually medium and i could probably get away with tan if i had if i was had a bit more color to me and um, once summer hits because it's still hailstoning here i love the lip, look of the liquid mini liquid lip trio those three colors are really my colors and um, i really like the look of the pinky palette a little pale for me but hey ho um i really like to be honest i really really like the look of this nina you get anything you get anything nina I mean, I think the, the eyeshadow palettes themselves could work very, very nicely as face palettes as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pinky one, I actually would maybe buy that for just a, like oh, a face a palette because the shimmery, like a orangey, like a yeah. the middle, like the top, top row in the middle, it looks like, and then the lighter one could be highlighter. I'm not mad about this at all. We have Danessa Merrick. They're coming out with six pigmented liquid glitters. They're apparently smudge proof, waterproof, rapid drying and sustainable in high temperatures. There we go. And they can act as a standalone eyeshadow lip or cheek. They're $18 each. I know you can get them on Cult Beauty already. They're, they're up there. These are the type of products that I like. For like eye looks, for yeah. creating some like, just this would be amazing. Just the price is the only thing. Maybe Maybe I shall take a little look. I like the look of it. Price doesn't put me off too much because I've got like the Ciate and the Natasha yeah. Dunning and I have problems. And um, so it doesn't put me off too much. The main issue that I have is that I have extremely textured eyelids and I have like a like a weird like double creasy thing. I so, think it could be your yeah. thing because it's much proof, waterproof, it dries fast. Yeah, so this so, could this could really work for me. I yeah. think I would probably I think out of them all like petals. The mermaid one is oh, or parade. So pretty. Probably be the one. I would like, like to see. Yeah, out. I mm -hmm. think it's too lilacy. Like it's too many lilacy sage. I wish that there were more variety. So then the next thing that we have to talk about is Beauty Bay have collaborated with a French YouTuber called Io Coralie. Now, please don't come for me if I've gotten the pronunciation wrong. I'm not actually familiar with this YouTuber. This is the palette they've come out with. It's 20 euro and it is apparently limited to one person, like one per person, not as in like one person only. Will <laughs> that would be really weird and very, very bad. It's, it's just really similar to the Nikki tutorial. Like it is different, but it's just a little too similar for I, me. I had such a visceral reaction to this. Yeah. My first reaction was, oh my God, I hate it. Same. I don't hate the color story. I hate that the pan sizes can't match. Like, why is it like put, like, why don't you do like the eyeshadows on other sides and then two oh, okay. um, highlighters yeah. on the other? Why yeah. does it have to be this? scrambled yeah. and the, the highlighter colors are super super pale and um, neither of them would work for me um, they would but it depends on the formula if yeah, it's it like the um way. same formula as like kaleidos has which just doesn't like when you look straight forward you can't see it but when you look at the light, it shows up. Then it might work on different skin tones. But one, but one of them looks like it's quite blue gray in tone. If I'm if I'm straightforward, that's going to give me a massive gray cast. Yeah. Um, I just think that this is so like mid toned and pale. The whole thing. I There's don't no hate depth. it. There's but no I'm depth to it. this. Like go hair i'm sure she does beautiful makeup i have looked at pictures of the makeup she does she's she's talented and all of this but this is not inclusive and in 2021 we are inclusive and so this ain't it for me and people might say it's bright colors will show up on a skin tone nah they will show up on a skin tone how am i going to deepen up a look 
Yeah. How's anyone going to deepen up a look with that? Next thing then is She Glam. So that is the She In's beauty thing. They have five new palettes and they are $7.50 each. They come in the styles Earth Tempo, Bold Beats, The Blues, Chill Track and Pitch Pretty. And they are already available. I feel like they release the same thing all over. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen these color stories. They wouldn't mm-hmm. need to extend it. The mm-hmm. palettes have the same thing. There's not that many deep shades. They're really packed. They're not bad. Like, I I don't hate the color stories. They're not bad. But I just feel like they should have added more deeper shades and not so, like, light. On first glance, I was like, ooh. Then when I look at them and I'm looking at the two different pictures of each palette, they look like different pictures, different palettes and the different pictures of the palette. Yeah. That makes sense. And there's only a couple that have any actual depth to it. Um, I mean, you know what? If I was on Shein. Yeah, I'm some clothes or something. I'd maybe yeah, throw I would a couple. Probably, but they have more nicer palettes than these. Yeah, they do. Like they have actual, like really pretty palettes that I would rather take. The only palette that I actually, I'm kind of like, oh, I might take that. It's the one with the like blues and like has the black shade and like those raspberries. That's the only yeah, one that has yeah. the deeper, that you could create a look with it, and maybe that greeny one with the darker but brown you, that's really pretty you, but if you look at the one I like the same look of that one with the black and the blues and the pink but then when I look at it in the picture above it looks really pale that's yeah. the thing like when it yeah. looks yummy and very toned I'm like oh then I look at the other picture I'm like why is it so pale yeah. so which, which one is it, is it I love that we're going from she glam to Louboutin <laughs> <laughs> This is La Palette case. It's inspired by Christian Louboutin's clutch bag, apparently. So the palettes are refillable clutches and they basically have uh, these spikes that are synonymous with Louboutin on them. There are three face palettes with highlighters and blushes. And then there are three eyeshadow palettes with matte shimmer satin and metallic finishes. And they're going to be available from June 9th. I think I'm blind. That's not three different. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Oh, is that three different in the trio? Oh, I thought it's the same thing. <laughs> nah, this ain't it. And I yeah. bet they'll be like, I bet they'll be like ninety dollars each. Or oh yeah. Like that. Oh, and also like the face palettes. If you're gonna do the diff- three different ones, where's the palettes for the deeper skin tones? They this don't give a. Really they don't give a. Shit. Yeah, they don't. These fashion yeah. houses don't give a shit. That's the thing. Like, and that's what gets me. Benefit, how, how are you doing? <laughs> Talking about inclusivity. Yeah, this is, <laughs> oh, what do we even say? So this is apparently limited edition. That's how, you know, confident they are on this. It's their powder bronzer in a really light shade, let's be clear. And it's a shimmer. It apparently has these super fine pearlescent pigments. And it's a such a dollars. As a highlighter, yeah, it'll work. Hear me out. <laughs> if they had done it, in all of their hula sh- all of their hula shades yeah great and i probably would have bought the caramel because i prefer a shimmery bronzer but to bring it out in just one shade just ain't it for me but the concept itself i like because i, yeah. I love it bronze with a satin to it. it's what i wear most of the time i don't actually really like a matte bronzer that much so you know 10 out of 10 for idea zero out of 10 for execution yeah i agree Hundred percent. I have nothing to add. Kiko Milano summer collection. It's not available yet, but some some items of these are apparently available now. But the whole thing will be available within the next month. So they have this little eyeshadow palette, which makes me think a little bit of tart. You know, they're under the sea thing. Yeah. I mean, the theme they've gone with is very summer appropriate. You know, fruits. I really like Kiko's aesthetic as a whole. I went into the shop last time I went shopping and bought a few things. And then when I got home, I was like, you wanted to buy a bronzer, but you couldn't <laughs> because it was too, everything was too light. Everything was yeah. too light here. You still bought stuff because you fancied it. It was on sale three for two, but you know, all of that. I, I got involved. There was no inclusivity at all. Yeah. Um, there really, really wasn't. I, I'd never see any of their releases. And it's such a shame because I really have high hopes for Kiko and I'd like them to push um, revolution off the market a little bit. If you're gonna do a summer collection and you can't bring out a like a bronzer collection that's gonna suit every skin tone then don't bring out a bronzer at all. 
it's that simple yeah. you know I agree I agree then the next thing we have is official tipsy beauty which by the way I don't like that as a name not the best message they have their pomegranate martini eyeshadow palette which has 10 shades 40 dollars <laughs> and their paper straws brush set where you get five brushes for 18 dollars oh my god i can't even verbalize all of the things that i don't like this. i was giggling so much when i told you all this was, yeah, it's like what the actual hell like what is the shape of that palette oh. like it's like isn't that gonna break like <laughs> You have it for a week and like the, the stem of it would have like snapped. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. It costs more to make a palette that shape. It does. That's yeah. where some of the, the money goes from. And then a lot of the shades are just repeat shades of themselves. It's awful. Yeah. And also There's like three same of the red shades. Mm. Yeah. And like, yeah. also, I have a thing where I'm like, you know, you can make subtle hints towards like alcohol, etc. But alcoholism is a very big issue. And yeah. making your whole brand be official tipsy, making yeah. a, a palette that is like, oh, look, it's so based around America. It just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me. Like you could call it like um like a tipple something instead like official tips tipple brand because that's like you know it's referring to drink but not to be drunk yeah but there's different yeah. ways about it if you want to refer to you know alcohol and cocktails but tipsy it ain't it oh god next one look it was inevitable that we we're going to have to talk about this man again he's back like herpes you know they never really go away despite you know that good flush of antibiotics so he's back it's jefferson starship basically what he's doing is coming out with single eyeshadows yeah. i don't hate this idea that's the thing i don't think it's a bad idea because i mean yeah. a lot of people will hit pan on certain shades it's actually really smart. but i can't say anything without being annoyed because i just him as a person yeah. i wish uh, more brands would do this like from the palette when you release it you would sell singles then when you like ran out of the color you could buy the single and like switch it out on a palette yeah like make it magnetic make it easy for customers the only thing that i don't like is that his palettes are not <laughs> magnetic it's glued down it's hard for you to remove that pan and take like well if it's like hit pan at your empty pan it's gonna be easier to move mm -hmm. but you there's still a room for like breaking your other shades on the palette if you're not careful um but I don't hate this idea. I think it's really smart. And I can't say a bad thing about this. I don't like Jeffree Star, but this isn't bad, you know. I have nothing polite to add, so. <laughs> yeah, I was like looking at your face. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. I agree with Tia. Yeah. I, I, I agree with Tia. I just can't say it as nicely as she did because Tia is a classy lady and I am not. Yeah. Um, Again, I'm I'm basically of the same opinion. I think if this came from any other brand, I'd be like, oh God, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Huda, oh my God, can I just say, and I don't mean to sound mean, but like the face on the packaging frightens the life out of me. Like there's something yeah. about it that doesn't yeah, sit well. Not it's, the theme of, it's the theme of this week. Like Reduce we're not it. being inclusive enough. Seems like it doesn't it, yeah. True. Yeah. This is their Glow Obsessions Highlighter Palette. So it comes in three different styles, light, medium, and rich. They say that they're coming soon. I mean, this is what they've kind of done before. They, you know, when they came out with their nude palettes before, they came light, medium, rich. And I'm like, ah, there's kind of more skin tones than that. This is stretching, like three difference. Come on, come on. Like maybe, maybe two. I mean, the fact is when you put the rich... You know, I, I mean, I love that when they show swatches. <laughs> they call it rich and it yeah. looks like it suits my skin. <laughs> yeah. And like the dark, can I also point out the dark model? Not very dark at all. And it looks, it doesn't look like it would really suit her that well either. So I'm like. Just, yeah. it looks really again, light on her skin. Like really I light. I to say that's polite. Um, Huda had been doing really well. Her inclusivity in her foundation range is great and all of this. She brought out the new nude lipsticks, which were super inclusive. Um, this feels like a step back for me, for me. 
and that's all I'm gonna yeah then the next thing we have is Be Perfect have come out with some new glitter pigments and there's quite a few of them they are £7.95 each or you can get all 13 for £59.95 which it should be £113.35 so you can get it for almost half price but I'm gonna be fully honest I've already bought this I've had a tough week and um, I don't like them no. I think they're nothing special I think they could have done way better pigments really expensive to buy separately $7.95 I think that the price is not right for them I, I think, think they never intended special. for people to buy them individually in a yeah. million I rather I rather go from like pastel roses on those kind of like indie brands this is not for me um, let's not pretend like I'm not probably going to buy this. Um, <laughs> I am probably going to buy this. I am a be perfect hoe. Um, I also want, this is going to sound so strange, but hear me out. I want to encourage this release in terms of, in hopes that in the future they'll bring more out. Like yeah. do the duo chromes, do the multi chromes. I want to be like, yes, thank you for doing something different. Here's a sweetie. Here's but a this sweetie. isn't different. But for them, it's different yeah. for them, right? It's different. This, this isn't different. even different for them. They have like those um glittery like liquid eyeshadows. I, so I'd I much those. rather get those than these. Yeah. Like I, I hate, just I hate the eye ones so much. They don't work for, they don't work on my lids at all. I that's why I much prefer a pigment like it. Listen, I'm trying to justify it, justify it. Like listen yeah. to me, I'm trying to justify you it. Can, you can buy, buy it. You can buy it. I'm gonna buy it, okay. So then the next thing we have is Profusion. And this is their Love You to the Moon collection. They have this particular palette available now for 10 US dollars. Okay, I am I'm gonna say it. Elena? Yeah. yeah, Elena, go on. I really like it. I reckon you could do something cute with it. Oh, and like purples, they're her color. Yeah, it's right yeah. our color. It's our color story. Mm. I we love can... purple and teal together, so I like mm. that they added the teal shade there. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I could change one thing for the palette. I would okay. get rid of the brownie shade and add like a really, really deep purple there. Yeah, although it's if the you do a swatch thing. of it, it looks really nice. Yeah, but I don't need a, like a brown like that. Okay, like, that's fair. Um, where, where would you like? What would you pair it with? I, I don't I like to blend, blend out, out like uh, purples with browns. I think it looks too muddy. But that's just my preference. I, I would like to have like that gone away and like a really deep purple or a really deep teal. We then have Sigma and Sigma have a whole kind of a collection out now. And this is their, the ambiance collection. So they have an eyeshadow palette for $49, a highlighter palette for $49, two different lip glosses, $20 each. They have a glow brush set for $95 and you can get the whole collection for a hundred and eight to six dollars. I mean, it's very, very neutral. I don't like highlighter palettes because inevitably there are shades that don't work. And for that price, I couldn't justify spending $49 on a highlighter palette mm -hmm. I would never end up using. I like the brush set though. I always like Sigma brushes. Yeah, Sigma brushes are really nice. So I don't hate the brushes, but other than that, this is not for me. I, I could see like, People who like neutrals, like neutrals. I think Mary would like this. <laughs> I feel like Mary would like yeah. this palette. She loves Sigma, her called a rose there. She likes that. And um, I like this. Um, I could probably use the entirety of the highlighter palette. I have, you know, I'm a straight down the middle of medium neutral. I could like highlight a darker highlight with the lighter ones. Um, I could definitely use that eyeshadow palette. Again, the brushes, I like lip glosses. Am I going to purchase this? Probably not. If the highlighter palette was maybe oh, no. thirty nine dollars, I'd buy it. But it's just that little bit too expensive. But I do, I do like it. 
And then the very last thing that we're talking about has just been added today. Like, I mean, just in the last few hours, it has been announced. This is Natasha Denona and it is the Vendo palette. It is 15 shades and they say that it's going to be a big sister to the mini Zendo palette and it's going to be $65. Now, I think this looks very, very, very much like the Sample Beauty Plush palette, but doesn't quite have the same variety of shades. It leans more neutral than the, the plush palette. I do like it though. I do. I love this and I love that it is like 65 this actually might be my first Natasha Denona palette because I wanted the circle of but I, I just I can't afford it like I just can't um but this one like I like it I like it has has like pinks and like blues and it still has like that neutral moment you could use this like an, as an everyday palette but you could still do like really creative looks with it um, I really like this. Like, I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll buy it. I could definitely get a lot of use out of it. I see a lot of looks with it. It'll be a great companion to my gold palette. I'm, I'm, and my sunrise and my circo loco. Try and pronounce it right this time. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Every time Matt, me and Matty talk, he's like circo loco. I'm like, I know, I know, Matty. I'm an embarrassment to you all. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, I will buy it. Um, I'm so happy it's not a hundred and eleven pounder because I wouldn't yeah. afford that. Um, but yeah, I will buy it. Yeah, I like it. I, I do like it. Um, me too. I don't want to buy it because I can't. Like, I just can't afford to go around and be buying my feelings. But like. Oh, it's pretty. I kind of want to, like, I really even want to buy it because I've been. I want to try Natasha Denona. <laughs> But it's just like all of her, like this kinds of like cheaper palettes are really neutral. It's yeah. like, this is still neutral, but it only, like it has colorful shades also. Like this, I don't mind. So I'm I'm just like, I'm, I might buy this. Like I, I actually might buy this. And for, and for me, I know people say it's overpriced and everything. The Natasha Denona for me is the pinnacle of of the of the of high end wise of what why high end is amazing i know you can get affordable makeup that's fantastic like i know you can i really know yeah. that but if i want to quickly whip on something that looks like i've spent an hour but i've spent 20 minutes on it that's it yeah I, I it's like this is nothing it. new like as Teresa says if you want affordable option go with the sample but beauty blush mm. palette like it's stunning it has the same kind of color story but if you want to like go a bit bougie and you want to have something like really nice to your collection that you can like use a lot and you can like enjoy using it and i feel like with like more like higher end brands it's more of the experience of of the product like it's also that but it's also the product but that's it in terms of the new makeup releases so we mm -hmm. are going through the lightning round uh fasten your seat belts you know pin down anything that could move in the speed so of course we're starting off with makeup revolution and this catastrophe i mean sorry forever flawless timeless fantasy eyeshadow palette it's 12 pounds it's atrocious i don't want to talk about it ve cosmetics then have two new products they have their goth life lip scrub and vampire kisses lip oil and those are available now indie beat cosmetics and the platinum hits uh, limited stock so it seems to be sort of geochrome metallic we then have creature cosmetics labs and they basically have the revenge of the 80s eyeshadow palette and lashes to go with it this is one for rebecca charlotte tilbury have look of love lip sticks and there's four shades too pink for even me and they also have tinted love shades and they're in five different shades this is the l and b boutique and cosmetics which confused the hell out of me because they've done like the schoolyard collection and now this is their color pop is that you it does it looks like the fade into hue doesn't it this is their sex is sex collection <laughs> Sex is sex. Oh my bread, god. Bread and, and jam is jam. Makeup is makeup. We then have our darling, and that is a new brand, and they are apparently vegan and cruelty free. They have some lashes, they have this palette for $30. And they have some pins, stickers, and apparently a morning card, which I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. 
I've got to say, uh, this palette is beautiful. Oh, yeah, palette, it's well, beautiful. But what a morning card. Uh, oh, I don't like that because, I mean, you know, here in Ireland, we do have a thing where, like, if we have somebody who passes, we do actually oh, send yeah. out, like, cards to people who attended the funeral. And it is like a remembrance thing. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't like that aspect of it. Other than that, yeah. I like the rest of it. I just, that bit kind of oh just doesn't sit right with me but there you yeah. go we have barry m cosmetics and they have the feather brow defining pen and it's five pounds 99 morphe oh god stop it morphe this is their faux show sunless tanning face and body drops 18 dollars. they also have various primers so there's the equalizer foundation primer for 16 dollars. they have the luminous complexion primer also 16 dollars. the revitalizer foundation primer again 16 dollars. new brand this is from Kristen cavallari from apparently the hills now i never watched that show but there you go she has her own line now it's called uncommon beauty and it's just going to be a lot of skincare stuff lottie london have uh two new palettes there's the raspberry ripple and the honeybee zara beauty so the clothing chain zara are it seems coming out with their own cosmetics line this looks quite high end like the packaging on it is very reminiscent of something like giorgio armani or westman atelier like i think they've done well on the packaging to make it look quite well, low at least they're inclusive with their makeup because they're sure as hell not inclusive with their clothes sizing yeah we then have island play cosmetics and this is their reggae ma collection so there's an eyeshadow palette for 20 pounds and there are some lip glosses for 11 pounds la connecta cosmetics have thin line palette and that is 22 dollars Sol de Janeiro then have their Brazilian Joya Dry Shampoo. They also have the Rio Dio Aluminium Free Deodorant and that is available now. But in addition to that, they also have their Kerosa 40 Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. Lisa Eldridge then is also coming out with an elevated glow highlighter in four skin adaptive sheer tones, $38 and an enlivening blush, $34 in six shades. Kylie Skin, yay! They have a makeup melting cleanser. So it's a cream to oil makeup remover. This is by Iliakti. This is essentially his new brand, Crete. And this is a limited edition nail paint collection and it comes in the shades white, grey and black. Then Fourth Ray Beauty have some new floral body milks. So they come in lavender, peony and rose. M Cosmetics and they have three different highlighters. So there's Divinity, Aura and Halo and they are $30 each. Apparently there's vitamin E in them. OPV Beauty have added some new glitter liner colors. So there's nine new shades and they are 10 pounds each. Abilie Cosmetics have the Delta palette. It's 15 shades and it's $24. So this is a collaboration between Made in Corpus Christi with Lemonade Stand Cosmetics. And this is their Coastal Collection eyeshadow palette and it's available now for 20 US dollars. We have Becca Muse and they have come out with two new palettes. They are 30 shades each and they're $49.99 each. Gatita Gang and their Mota Girls and they have a sticker pack. I don't understand these things. An eyeshadow palette for $30 and a lip gloss bundle. So there's three lip glosses, two with glitter and that is uh, $20 and you can bundle it all together for $50. This next thing you may look at this and think, ah, oh, we've seen this before. Hi, Huda. Yeah, it does look like Huda, but this is apparently a different brand who are, don't want to say ripping off Huda, but there you go. This is Camila Demore Cosmetics. It's apparently an Israel-based brand and they have these eyeshadow palettes. I mean, they're $24 each with the exception of the Karina Havana, which is the one that has these round pans, which is $26. Let's be 100% honest. This is Huda. That looks like Huda. They have... Yeah, it's, I'm really confused. It looks like the cheap Huda dupes that are in Primark. Fatal Beauty, who have collaborated with Cosmetics Queen. They have two different eyeshadow palettes. There's Freak Show and there's Step Right Up. They are $21 each. X and O Cosmetics have this particular collaboration with Tara Strickland and it's a purple holographic lip gloss. Hex Baby Beauty is apparently a new cosmetics brand and they're vegan and cruelty free. They're based in the US. They have a lucid liner collection bundle with 20 different colors. You can get the bundle of them for $100 or you can get them for $6.66 $6. each. They have the Kawaii liner 
and lash adhesive for $9.99, lashes for $7.99, a high priestess highlighter and blush palette, which includes three highlighter shades and three blush shades for $22. And they're all available now. Self-made beauty, long lashes and high standards collection. So they have a nine pan eyeshadow palette for $15.50 and two styles of lashes for 10 US dollars each. Blech. Yeah. <laughs> We have Mia Gianni Lash Beauty and there's their Mexico eyeshadow palette and it's 35 US dollars. Ammo Cosmetics have their Kemet palette. It's a nine pan pigment palette. They're asking for $56 for this or if you wanted it in the loose pigment set, $67. Mm. So we have Naomi Sade London and it's apparently a black owned beauty brand that is in London. It's apparently formulated in the UK as well. And this is their bronze lookbook. And it is £29.99. Lutch Cosmetics are based in Norway and they have this Neutral Dream eyeshadow palette. It is available for $27.08. Halo Beauty and they have their Dragonborn eyeshadow palette. It's $25.65. Netbox Beauty have a couple of different eyeshadow palettes. There's Apple, Hawaii, Silver, Orange and Peach. Wide label. I also find it really funny that it's like Apple, Orange, Peach and then Hawaii and silver. (laughs) IQ test, like spot the ones that don't belong in in this group. Very, very weird. $21.99 each QC Queen Cosmetics and their Boss Queen Shadow Palette. I hate it with a passion. (laughs) Then we have Otaku Beauty and they have two different eyeshadow palettes. They have the Sacred Love Palette and they have the Hunter Eyeshadow Palette. Then we have the Mama Sita Cosmetics and their Hermosa Mujer palette. Again, very sorry, I don't speak Spanish, so I probably butchered that. I don't hate the color story, but there isn't a huge amount of depth in that. Then Violet Voss apparently still exists. And this is their new The Cool Vibes palette. It's $30. It doesn't look like Boxum to me. Like I thought it was Boxum. Yeah. It looks exactly like the new Melt that I just did a vid well I've not uploaded the video but filmed it looks so much like um the Mary Jane and color scheme but but NARS then have their radiant cream color corrector it's four shades $30 each we have La Belle UK and this is their Magnifique eyeshadow palette it's available now it's $18 local lashes then have their new local lashes lip kits so there are five lip kits then have Tammy Tanuka with inspired by sigil and they have five different shades and they are available now and then we move on to Cogendo and this is their four look mineral eyeshadow palette a hundred and eight dollars then we have Sakura Moon Beauty and they have five new lip glasses Hellbites Beauty have their baby metal palette it's $25.99 it reminds me a little bit of the Stroud, Stroud Cosmetics Creepy Cute yes that's what came to mind it's cute this is nice sweet palette cosmetics have their neon lights cityscape palette and that is available now i hate it i was about to say sweet palette sweet mother sweet mother of god like i have a very visceral reaction to that and that's not i don't like it yeah (laughs) vonga beauty then are releasing their shimmer lust bundle 35 dollars. there's three shimmer glasses yinabel beauty are releasing their chibi moon cat paw blushes there's three shades and oh my gosh they have little paw prints in them in addition to that they also have three different highlighters in three shades there's light medium and deep then we have shantakaya and they are releasing their purifying and exfoliating phytoactive solution $88 then we have boundless beauty and they have their the sunset dreams collection so they have their rosé all day brush case $35 the sunset dreams palette which is let's face it the morphe jacqueline hill one $40 highlighter palette for $35 which we have seen this one before this is yeah lots of ones like everyone is coming out with that exactly same highlighter palette And then we have the Himalayan salt body scrub for $20. And the next one has the same highlights. Yeah, here we go. We're (laughs) on to sugar drizzle. And they have this sugar drizzle palette, which is actually, I do like the look of the palette, but they also have these highlighters. I just, I can't take it seriously. It's obviously white labeled. Like... (laughs) We then have Asuri Beauty and they have their single color powder blushes and they come in three different shades and they also have a blush palette in addition to that. I mean, I just want the orange. Bella and Co have new exfoliating lip scrubs and they come in five different flavors. Pretty Smoke Cosmetics and they have their Melanin Glow Highlighter Palette and it is $20. Carolina Herrera is releasing their mini tint balms. It comes in eight different shades. There's six bases and six lids for custom 
customization of the case and that's available now. And this next one is obviously for Tia. This is Beautylish who have collaborated with Lena Chu Beauty and you can get all 12 of these brushes for the low, low price of 398 US dollars. Oh, I'm going to go buy it now. We then have Love Struck Beauty LA and they have their spring collection of liquid lipsticks. Makeup Forever then are releasing their Ultra HD Essentials palette. It's $83 and it's two-sided. So you have your blush palette and you have the foundation palette. Loon and Aster have their tinted lip balm and there's six different shades. BBG Cosmetics are releasing their jelly highlighters. There's five shades and they're $10 a piece. The Unicorn Gang Shop have their uni- have their C- Secrets of the Fae eyeshadow palette, $28.50. Seattle London then are releasing their Dewy body sticks. There are two shades and they are $26 each. If this was like a Dewy primer stick in two shades, I would be. So if it was a completely different product. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. If this was a completely different product, I would like it. We have Amory Sienna Beauty and they have their Serenity Palette. It's $20.99. I don't like it at all. Solo Giovanni are releasing their warm toned eyeshadow palette. It has two shimmers, two mattes. Box Office Beauty and they have four new products. They have their Script Eyeshadow Palette, which is $40. Their Golden Glam Nominees Highlighter Palette at $30. Their Rom Com Blush Palette for $30. And five different lip glosses, which are $12 each. We have Rowan Beauty and their Mood Forever Eyeshadow Quad. $46. Cam Cosmetics have a new black eyeliner for $12. We have Ren Skincare and they are coming out with a limited edition summer daily AHA tonic, $39. Then we have About Face, which is Halsey's brand, and they are releasing the second part of their Day Tripper collection. So it includes the Light Lock Stick in two different shades, $25 each, and the Light Lock Powder, $30 in ice dust lights lacquer are also coming out with mojave meadows so those are three different nail polishes we then have romantic beauty usa and they have their rose mother's day gift set so it includes the lady rose palette the rose lip gloss rose setting spray and heart seeker lipstick for $17.50. We have Copacetic Cosmetics who are collaborating with Rocky Makeup and this is their Streamside palette. And oh. I love this. This is coming out 11th of May. Oh look, the same pan designs are back. This is Love Ethania and they're releasing five new blushes. They're $6 each at least. Then we have Wicked Sisters Cosmetics and they have their Wicked Veil pressed powder. It comes in 10 shades. It's apparently non-oily, non-cakey full coverage and you can apparently wear alone or over your foundation lila beauty and they have their lovingly lip treatment oil and it's 30 dollars barclays glitter gloss have their jolt chunky glitter camden the brand have their eye candy eyeshadow palette no, it's horrible. I hate it. We have Sierra and Beauty and they have some multi-chrome loose pigments. Then we have the Moi collection and they have some hydrating concealers and uh, they are $12 each. Good Mila Limited and they have their Better Brows and that's coming out May 11th. Shine by SD Cosmetics are releasing their Glamified Loose Pigments. They are nine shades and they're $4.10 each, oh, which yeah. is bad for price. Oh my God, I just scrolled to the next thing. Yeah, oh, this is the very affordable look mare and they have their soft moisture powder foundation with an spf of 30 12 shades you know they won't have the dark ones because they just know elena yeah. i think you're a bush be now yeah like according looking to at your youtube video <laughs> so i think you should buy this and review this for all of us bougie bees that wants to buy but can we just talk about the price okay $125. Yeah. Yes, you heard me right. $125. There isn't a decimal point missing there, although there should be. But yeah. $100. You could get the Nutters of the Nona Circoloco or whatever you call it palette for that price. But the Why would the correct you? pronunciation is Circo Loco. In case you Circo Loco. <laughs> Why would you buy this? Why? Izzy Zero Waste Beauty and this is their Izzy Mascara. It's apparently available only via membership, which seems a bit dodgy to me. You know, for the same. Wow, what are they? Yeah. What? I- now, what I am going to say is I do like that this is sustainable in the sense that, you know, you can get refills for the mascara because the mascara tube itself is stainless steel and apparently it can have up to 10,000 refills. But, but you have to pay $35 plus 
$19 every three months or $85 annually to get yeah. it. Then we have Grunge Glow Cosmetics and they have five new products. They have their uh, lethal liners in the shades Bleach and Gloom. They have two matte lipsticks in the shades Hella and Dirt, a <laughs> dual ended liner and brow brush. And finally, we have Guerlain and they are releasing their Terracotta Light Bloom bronzing. Yeah, that's right, Light Bloom. Anyways, that's it in terms of the new makeup releases. I assume that everyone is going to go off and buy the La Mer and they're going to go off and buy those beauty lish blush blushes brushes no don't buy them wait for my brush yeah wait for tia's new brand you know for the little it's brand. gonna be used yeah. brushes this is gonna be um this is gonna be like well i think 700 dollars and it's coming like this used and like gross and like oh, yeah. Everything's going to be unique. <laughs> the makeup will be pre-applied on it. So, you know, yeah. there you go. Uh, so that means we are now on to our sneak peeks. So there's a couple of different things. We have local lashes and this is their Lil Locas. So it's a blush palette and that's coming out May 21st. YCH Cosmetics have their Je Ne Sais Quoi eyeshadow palette. Then Colourpop apparently are coming out with some new Super Shock shades. Yeah, and they I just said they're coming soon. I want the pink. Yeah, I like the chartreuse. Yeah, and the chartreuse. Actually, yeah, I, would, I, would, I would make use of all of these. Yeah, <laughs> I like these. Then Beauty Bakery are apparently coming out with anything for the cookies. So it is a little cookie jar and has four different pairs of reusable vegan lashes. Yeah. I mean, packaging is adorable, but it's so bulky, wasteful. Like yeah. This is, of course, just for Rebecca. Oh, for this God's sake. I like this. This is Glisten Cosmetics and apparently they said 12 artists, 12 split liner, who's ready, out end of May, date TBC. We then have Rosewood Cosmetics and they're apparently coming out with some summer shades of lip glosses coming out in June. We then have Putting in Makeup by Yolando and this is their Glitter Obsession palette. Then Drench Cosmetics are collaborating with Laura Lise and this is their Venus in Lust palette. I don't hate it. Men and I'm Comfort and Beauty have their Sweet Dream Volume 1 Baby K Cosmetics. I like a blue-green palette on principle. We have Lonely Girls Shop and they have two new eyeshadow palettes. They have their Quattro Vidas and their City Queen palette. Awful. Just terrible. Then we have Face Glaze Beauty and they're coming out with some apparently pastel multi-chromes. I like the look of those. I do. I like the look of them. I, then it depends better. on how much they are. Yeah, but I do like them. Foolish Hustle Lashes are coming out with some bandana liners. Dolly B Lashes have their brown and proud palette. Rufescent Lips are coming out with, looks like it's probably liners. Then Elsewhere Cosmetics are sneak peeking some new lippies. VE Cosmetics are also coming out with a ritual face primer. It's apparently poor minimizing. Armani are coming out with the Lip Power Lipstick Collection. And uh, apparently, well, this is the shade they've shown so far. You know me, I love red. So yeah, that's nice. But there are going to be more shades. Artitude Cosmetics are coming out with some coloured Catitude liners. I like them. Oh, I like those. Oh my God, Revolution are apparently coming out with something which is reloved by Revolution. So by the time this is up, this will be out. It's a new brand. I, I, I don't care. We have Glam Light and something is coming out. I'm assuming like an eyeshadow palette. Yeah. I don't even want to get excited because it's I so hard. Get it. yeah. I mean, whatever this is, I want it. There's no way I'm going to be able to buy this unless like people went in together or something like that. XO Beauty, which is Shan XO's brand, is giving a sneak peek of something. For eyeshadow, because she is coming out with the wedding eyeshadow palette. Adept Cosmetics have given some more sneak peeks. I want it. Beautiful. I that looks good. Yeah, yeah. Magical Makeup UK have some colour shifting liquids and that's coming out at the end yeah. of May. JD Glow Cosmetics then have a sneak peek of the Lemon Lime Galaxy Shadow. Ooh. Oh, I like it. Then Davina Cosmetics again have given us a sneak peek of part of their Halo Moon collection. And we have Clarity Cosmetics coming out with two different multi-chrome eyeshadows. Yeah. And then Be Bella, Be Bella Beauty also have some new sort of a glittery pigment. And then just before sitting down to film, I found out that apparently Urban Decay are doing a Prince collection. I, I assume there's going to be an eyeshadow in there called Purple Rain. If this isn't like a really nice, like a colourful palette, I, I, I'm, this, it's going to be 
people are going to be mad. That's it, lads. That is that is the whole thing. It has been a ridiculous week. Probably this is a longer episode than usual. Yeah. I am sorry. We tried our best. Um, but that's it. You know the general jazz. You go and follow and subscribe to these two beautiful ladies because they're wonderful. But that's it. That's the end of the video. Do please like, comment and subscribe to me. Uh, do please share because sharing is caring unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. That's it. That's the end of the video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.